So now we are having chapter 7 of Indian Society class 12 the sociology book. There are some of the suggestions for project work. So this chapter suggests some small practical research projects that you can try out. There's a big difference between regarding about research and actually doing it. Practical experience of trying to answer a question and collecting evidence systematically is very valuable experience. This experience will evidence systematically in a very valuable experience. This experience will hopefully introduce you to the excitement and also come out to the difficulties of sociological research before you can read in the chapter. Please refer to once again to chapter 5 that is doing sociology. So class 11th I read that. In the class 11 textbook, okay, introducing sociology, that was the name of the book. So the project suggests here have tried to anticipate the potential problems of organization this kind of activity for large number of students in different kinds of school located in different kinds of context these are intended just to give you a feel of research a real research project would obviously be more elaborate and involve more much more time and effort than the possible in your setting these are made for suggestions feel free to think of ideas of your own in consultation with your teachers every such uh, question needs an appropriate suitable research method a given question may be answered with more than one method. The first method and it can be more than one. But a given research method is not necessarily appropriate for all questions. In other words, the most research question one has a choice of possible method but this choice is usually limited one of the first last of the researchers after carefully specifying the research questions is to select a suitable method this selection could be done only by according to technical criteria that is the degree of compatibility between questions and method but also practical consideration this later might include the amount of time available to do the research the resource available in terms to both people and material the circumstances or, or situation in which it has to be done so it depends For example, let us suppose you are interested in, in comparing co-educational schools with boys only and girls only schools. This is of course a broad topic. You must formulate a, a specific question that you want to answer. Examples could be do students in edu co-educational schools do better in studies than students in uh, boys girls only schools? Are only boys schools always better than co-educational schools in sports? Are children in single sex schools happier than children in co-educational schools or some other suggestions? So having decided on a specific question, the next step is to choose the appropriate method. For the last questions, are school children in single sex school happier? If you choose the interview students with different kinds of schools, in the interview you could ask them about directly how they felt about their schools. You could, uh, you could then analyze the answer. Questions. Then analyze. Yeah, okay. Uh, and as an alternative you could try to use a different method say the direct observation to answer the research question this means that you would have spent time in coach and and boys and girls schools observing how students behave so you would have to decide some criteria by which you could say if students are uh, much or less happy with their schools so they observing different kinds of schools by the same time you could hope to answer some questions a third method you could use is survey method survey method what is in the survey method this would involve preparation of questionnaire designed to get information on how students felt about their schools so questionnaire over You would then distribute the questionnaire to an equal number of students in each kind of school. You would then collect the field of the questionnaire and analyze the result. So here are some examples of some practical difficulties that you might feel when doing research of this kind. Suppose you decide to do a survey. You must first make enough to copies of questionnaire. This involves time, effort, money. Next, you may need permission from teachers to distribute the questionnaire to students in their classrooms. You may not get permission for the first time or you may be asked to come back later. 
after you distributed the questionnaire you may find that many people have not bothered to return it to you or have not answered all questions or other such problems you may have to decide how to deal with this go back to your, to your respondents and ask them to complete the questionnaire or ignore the incomplete questionnaire and consider only the complete ones consider only the completed answer and so on you must be prepared to deal with such problems during research works talking about a variety of methods so you may remember the discussion of research method until chapter 5 of introducing sociology so survey method so our heading comes to survey a survey method involves you asking a relatively large number of people such as 30 100 2000 and so on what is considered large now depends on the context of the kind of topic the same fixed set of questions the question may be asked by invalidator in a person when they are read out to the respondents and this answer are noted down by the invalidator or the questionnaire may be handed over to respondents who then filled it up themselves and give it back the main advantage of the survey is that they can cover a lot of people so that the results are truly representative so truly Representative. The question is misunderstood by respondent and there are wrong representative results can be produced. If respondent is something they interested, that cannot be followed by the other questions and this because you have to stick the questionnaire. Or the questionnaire is likely a snapshot taken at a particular moment. This situation may change that. So then we have interview. Interview. Interview is different type of survey that is conducted. With involved fewer questions, fewer up to 20 40, usually not much more than that. Interview may be structured that is for a predefined pattern of question or structured only through all topics are pre decided. The actual question emerges as a part of conversation. Interview may be more or less intensive in the same sense that when we interview a person for long to hear repeated views, then observation in combination of more than one method, then possible themes and subjects for a small. So, some for some suggestion, we have public transport. Uh, and uh, then we have a role of communication media in school life and uh, household appliances and domestic work and then the use of public space and then changing aspiration of different age groups and the biography of a commodity so these are some of the topics and then here comes the positives preventive civil society these are some of the terms so for arithmetic progression means the progression of arithmetic in the mathematics where studied in the assimilation is a process of culture and unification and homogenization by which newly entering the subconscious groups lose their distinctive culture and adopt the culture by dominantly majority so thank you